grace to her and the gift of baptism. It's definitely good for us to be here and good for us to do this. So we will begin this day in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved, Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And in the last chapter of Mark, our Lord promises, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. And the Apostle Peter has also written, baptism now saves you. The Word of God also teaches that we are conceived and born sinful and are under the power of the devil until Christ claims us to be his own. We would be lost forever unless delivered from sin, death, and everlasting condemnation. But the Father of all mercy and grace has sent his Son, Jesus Christ, who atoned for the sins of the whole world, and, what, and whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hey, Mom and Dad, how is your beautiful baby named? Avriana Grace Davison. Avriana Grace Davison received the sign of the cross on your forehead and on your heart to mark you as one claimed by Christ the crucified. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, according to your strict judgment, you condemn the unbelieving world through the flood. Yet according to your great mercy, you preserved believing Noah and his family, eight souls and all. You drowned, you drowned hard-hearted Pharaoh and all the hosts in the Red Sea, yet you led your people Israel through the water on dry ground foreshadowing this washing of your holy baptism. Through the baptism in the Jordan of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you sanctified and instituted all waters to be a blessed flood and a lavish washing away of sins. We pray that you would behold Ariana this day according to your boundless mercy and bless her with true faith by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now for our godparents this day. Yeah. <laughs> From ancient times, the Christian church has observed the custom of appointing sponsors for baptismal candidates and for catechumens. In the Evangelical Lutheran Church, sponsors are to confess the faith expressed in the Apostles' Creed and taught in the small catechism. They are, whenever possible, to witness the baptism of those they sponsor. They are to pray for them, support them in ongoing instruction and nurture in the Christian faith, encourage them toward the faithful reception of the Lord's Supper, and they are at all times to be examples to them of a holy life of faith in Christ and love for the neighbors. Is it your intention this day to serve Abriana as sponsors in the Christian church? If so, say yes with the help of God. Yes with God. God, enable you both to will and to do this faithful and loving work, and with grace fulfill what we are unable to do. Amen. Amen. Hear the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. They brought young children to Jesus, that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. When Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not forbid them, for such is the kingdom of God. I Surely I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. He took them up in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We take an opportunity before this baptism to pray in the way that our Lord taught us the words of the Lord's Prayer. I invite everyone who would like to to join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Ariana, the Lord bless your coming in and your going out from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. And finally, Mom and Dad, in the stand of Ariana, do you desire her to be baptized this day? Yes. Oh, great. Let's do it. And Mom, do you want to hold her, Mom? Let's see if we can figure out. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably going to be the hardest part of this. <laughs> Adriana Grace 
Gustafson, I baptize you, my little sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. She didn't even blink or anything. That, was, that worked out very well. And this is for you, Mom and Dad. This is her baptismal little garment, her napkin. And I'm going to run up to the altar and light this beautiful baptismal candle. The Almighty God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you this new birth of water and the Spirit, and has forgiven all your sins, strengthen you by His grace to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Receive this burning light to show that you have received Christ, who is the light of the world. Live always in the light of Christ. Be ever watchful for His coming, that you may greet Him with joy and enter with Him into the marriage feast of the Lamb, which has no end. We pray. Almighty and most merciful God and Father, we thank and praise you that you have graciously preserved and enlarged your family and have granted Abriana this new birth in holy baptism <coughs> and made her a member of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and an heir of your heavenly kingdom. We implore you that as she has now become your child, that you would keep her in her baptismal grace, that according to your good pleasure, she may faithfully grow to lead a godly life to the praise and to the honor of your holy name. And finally, with all your saints, obtain the promised inheritance in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And mom and dad, you can blow out that candle now, but uh, every year on this day, you can light it as a reminder of your baptismal birthday, Adriana. And so that is for you. And... Your baptismal certificate. You are baptized, Ariana. Welcome to the family, and we thank God for his blessing.